Audio Jungle. Hi, my name is Margaret Davidson and I'll be working with Speed Spa and Gun Dermatology today to show you all some tips and tricks how to make your eyes appear as big as possible. Before I start applying my makeup, I always use this lash serum from Gun Dermatology. I love this stuff. I usually use it at night, but all you do is take one pump and apply it to the upper lid as close as you can to the lash line on both eyes. And you let it dry for about two minutes and then you're good to go. Next, I use this Lumiere eye cream from Gun Dermatology. It illuminates and tightens your eyes. Um, you use it before your concealer and you just get a little dab and you go around the eye like a C. And you don't want to get too close to under your eye. And you let that sit before you use your concealer. Next, I'll be doing my concealer under my eyes, and I always start with this Bright Future um, Concealer Primer. So, it helps with redness under your eyes. And I always buff it with this brush. So as you can see, I put it on top too. I've got some redness. Now I'll be using this concealer. Now do a V shape kind of to help bring your eyes forward. And again, I use the same brush and go in the buffing motions. Takes a little bit to blend, but it's worth it. And I always like to go in with a sponge to kind of help pat that in a little more. Next, to make sure it's all concealed and stays where it is, I use this Hourglass powder. I just take a little on the same sponge and I press it in. Do it on the top as well to make sure you set all of your concealer in. And that's good for prepping under the eyes. Okay, now I'm going to start going in and adding my eyeshadow to make my eyes appear bigger. First, I'm going to go in with a kind of larger brush in a light neutral shade. And you go into the crease of your eye. And you just want to get a little bit around. And later on, I'll be going in and adding a darker color to add some dimension. Okay, next I'll be getting a smaller brush and using a darker color to add some dimension around my eyes as well. And you're going to go in and you will kind of feel your eyeball and you're just going to go back and forth around your eye to give it depth. And next, I'm going to go in and add a um, kind of a white cream color in my crease of my eye right here. But this is kind of a daytime look. And if you wanted to go um, out for dinner or have a nighttime look, you can add a gold color and do the same thing. So since mine's daytime, I'm going to add a little white cream color. And you're going to go right here in your eye. So I'm going to go in and add a little bit of shimmer into the crease of my eyes 
Um, this can be a good daytime or nighttime look. You're going to add some right here. This helps make your eyes pop. And then you can also do some above your eye. Next, I'll be going in with my eyeliner. And what I like to use is liquid eyeliner. And what you're going to do is you're going to hold the brush horizontally and you're going to be going in and pressing it on, not using the tip. Um, so you just go press, 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 press. And if you need more, you can just go in and pump it. And you're going to get as close as you can to the eyelash line. And the reason why you don't stop, or you stop at the end and not finish the whole eye, is it actually makes your eyes appear larger. Next, we'll be going in with a white eyeliner for the lower lid. Um, so you're just going to start in the waterline. And you can go back, as, back and forth as much as you want, depending on if you want how big your eyes, how big you want your eyes to look. Um, and if you're trying to go for a daytime look, maybe not as much. But if you want a nighttime look to make them really pop, you can do a lot. And make sure you get kind of in this crease a little. And this is what really does the trick to make your eyes pop and appear larger. And if you really want a dramatic look, go in with your wide eyeliner in the crease. Okay, now I'm going to go in with a great angled brush and kind of that neutral color that we used on the upper lid. We're going to go underneath the white we applied and just add a little in. It kind of adds more dimension. You don't want a defined line. You kind of want it to look smoky. And next, I will be going in and adding mascara. Um, if you want to curl your eyelashes, you can. It's kind of just your preference, but today I'm not going to. Um, but I'm going to start with my upper eyelashes. And honestly, you can do as many strokes as you want to, depending on how thick you want your eyelashes to look. I like to add a little more to kind of really get that pop. And then you just do a little on the bottom, kind of a feather like. Now I'm going to go ahead and define my eyebrows. So I like to go in the opposite direction of the way the hair grows because it gets all of the hair dark and then just comb it up. To get that last level of pop, I go in with my finger with a, shim a little shimmer and I like to put it underneath my eyebrow just like that. Okay, now I've finished off my look. I've added some blush and some lip gloss um, to add to my look and brush my hair out, um, added some earrings, and if you're really feeling that extra stuff with bigger eyes and brighter eyes, you can always use eye lift Botox or eye pop Botox to give you that really big in your eyes. Um, 
Thank you, Gun Dermatology and Speed Spa for helping us out.